This is the next lesson in using spreadsheets to create a times table quiz. Now in the previous lessons we looked at how we could create this quiz using our spreadsheets by using simple formulas. This is using a fixed formula with the dollars to get this cell reference here. If we open this up we can see this is using our number sentence A3 times C3 to equal this. And then what we did, we used conditions with the is statement to put the word correct or wrong, and then we used conditional formatting to change the color. What we're going to now do is look at how we can actually adapt this to an algebraic concept. So in this cell, I'm going to put down what this equation would be. So this equation would be A times X equals Y. A very simple algebraic equation. So we can then adapt this spreadsheet to actually allow us to create more complex equations using the spreadsheet and then substituting with the numbers. So let's do this. The first thing I want to do is rename this to times table. Now I'm going to add a new spreadsheet. The first thing we want to do is create our equation. So I'm going to do this in row two, but you can do it in any row that you like. So we're going to do an equation AX plus b equals y. There is our equation. That's what we want our spreadsheet to substitute and create. So what we need to do is we need to put our values in for x and y. So x equals, and let's give x a value, equals 5. And then we're going to put a value in for b as well. Okay, so b equals, and our value for b, let's say that's 6. Okay. So we're going to calculate what y is, and a is going to be a different number, like our times table. So we can title this, this is going to be a, and it's going to be 1, 2, 3, and then we can copy these down to here. Let's make it 12, and then a times, and this is going to be x. So I'm just going to put these as titles here, just to make things a little bit clearer. Now x is here, which is b1. So we want to do equals. If you remember from the previous lesson, we don't want to copy them down relative. We want it fixed. So we put a dollar, and we want b column to be fixed, and we want row 1 to be fixed. So we're going to copy that down, and then we can copy this down here. And then the next part of our number sentence is plus. So let's put a plus in here. But before we do so, we have to put a single quote because we want that to be a text field. And then we can copy that down too. Now column E is going to be our B. So this already exists, actually D1 here. So in the same basis, we want this not to be relative. We want it to be fixed. So we say E equals dollar. D dollar one. It's shown us that that's the cell we want. Return, and then we can copy this down. Finally, we can put an equals in. Remember the quote equals. Copy that down. And now we can put in Y, which is our number sentence. So this would be equals one times five plus 6. And there is our answer. And again, we can copy this down. Now let's just centralize this. So we've forgotten to put our B in there as our title. And this is going to be Y. Now let's just centralize all of these just to make things a little bit tidier. Now there you can see we've got our number sentence and we're using basic algebra. You can have more complex algebraic equations and get the spreadsheet to calculate it in the same way.